Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Hello everyone, it's me Christine, and today's the day where the cat's out of the bag. That's right, I've come up with some cat nail vinyls, three different kinds for you, because I am an obsessed cat lady. I can't help it. Menchi is so proud right now. You can find my new cat designs at the link below in the video description box, and you can only find them there unless someone steals them. Please don't steal my ideas. Thanks, K. bye And I'm starting out with a white creamy base coat. Damn, Christine, back at it again with the white base coat. Okay, that joke is so old by now. I know everyone is sick of damn Daniel, I know. The feeling you get when you realize that your boyfriend is the one who ruined your Simply Peel. Except you don't know how to apply a Simply Peel. <laughs> You're not supposed to like keep dabbing on it. Because That's shouldn't... not me. <laughs> yes, it is! The evidence of his guilt is very clear. <laughs> In my My Boyfriend Does My Nails video, you can check it out for yourself. I place all the blame on him. Pretty sure he just didn't close the cap of the bottle. Oh, boyfriend, it's a good thing I like you. So I actually tried to save my Simply Peel by microwaving it, but it didn't work at all and it just turned into a warm, squishy ball that was kind of like lactating with glitter. Weird. Luckily, I still had a good bottle of Simply Peel, but the brush was f***ed up from some other event a long time ago. But apparently, you can actually buy Simply Peel replacement placement brushes from the Simply Peel website. Because no matter how good the latex product is, sometimes latex just has a mind of its own and feels like drying up and being all crusty. So I just jammed the new brush into the cap and ah, beautiful, perfect, new, satisfying bottle of Simply Peel. Yes, I know my nails are a different color which doesn't coincide with this video. Sometimes I publish my videos in the wrong order that they were actually filmed, so timelines may seem like they don't make sense. Anyways, now that I've rescued Simply Peel, I'm gonna slap her all around my finger to prevent her from said death by gradient. And I'm gonna be doing a returning gradient, which means that the color on one end of the gradient will return to the same color by the other end of the gradient. I don't know if the rest of the nail art community uses this term. I started using it and I just use it because it makes sense in my head, okay? Give that a little dab, dab, dab on the nail. This is why I hate cremes. And we're just gonna repeat that gradient process another two or three times because these polishes are not opaque at all except for the white. The white is very opaque. The pinks are not. By the time you're done, your nail polish is all thick and nasty, so you can just go ahead and peel off Simply Peel like no big deal and do any little extra cleanup you may need to do. Now on two of my nails, I decided to do a different gradient because why? Because why? Why? Probably so I could just show off my peel again for you. <laughs> Peel porn. Now I add a quick dry top coat because we're gonna add nail vinyls next! The best nail vinyls to ever be invented! I'm so excited, I can't contain myself, can you tell? Always let dry for at least 15 minutes if you're using a good quick dry top coat. I put my favorite at the link below in the video description box. And here's the first of three different cat nail vinyls. Yay! I mean, meow! These are kind of like chevrons or stripes or French tips, except they're cat ears, so they're way better. And I'm gonna fill in my little cat head with black black hollow, because what else is appropriate? Nothing, nothing else is appropriate. There's definitely more than one way to use these cat ear vinyls. You could also use them as a French tip. I'm totally gonna do that and make a video on French tip nail art that isn't boring. One day, oh my god, so many commitments to you guys. <laughs> make sure to peel off the vinyl while the polish is still wet. And wow, you slay kitty cat, slay. Now this vinyl is the actual full complete head of the cat, not just the ears. And these are cat swirl vinyls. And look at that cute little tail. Don't you just want to pull it? These cat swirls are pretty versatile because you could use them whether you have long nails or short nails. So I can fit two of these on my long nails, but if you have short nails, you can definitely fit one of them, no problem. So the idea is that this will fit on any size nail bed, whether it's narrow or short or long or wide, whatever. Cat vinyl equality for all. These are so much fun to peel though. That's my favorite part. But you know what's even more fun to peel? These ones, these are cat cyclone nail vinyls, and oh my god, cyclones are my favorite. They can make you dizzy just by peeling them, and then you get sucked into their kitty cat trance. On a serious, helpful note, using a flat tool, it's just a cuticle tool, as I'm doing and rotating the sheet around as you press the tool under one layer of the cat cyclone is probably the best way to remove a cyclone from a vinyl without ruining everything. 
then you just pick it up and you're good to go. These vinyls can be a little bit trickier to place, but I like to start by pressing down on the head of the kitty cat and then adjusting the edges of the ears as you go around. The cat cyclones are a little bit bigger than the cat swirls. Oh, hey there. It's about time we ask, what's on my other hand? It's a dreamy champagne platinum flaky polish with holographic particles in it that I kind of want to take a vacation in. It looks like the sandy beach of heaven. Life's a beach, wear hollow, back to the cat. By the way, this black hollow is really opaque. I barely need to do one coat. Well, obviously I'm just doing one coat, but you know what I mean, right? Like you can read my mind so I don't need to say things. There's no point in this voiceover. You just know what I'm thinking. Isn't that correct? And now we're gonna do what we're all thinking. I wanna see you peel that kitty cat, Christine. Peel that kitty cat. Wait, go back a second. How cool is it that you peel the cat by the tail? <laughs> I find that so amusing. Na 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 cat man. That's cat woman to you, bitch. Now I'm adding a glossy top coat to seal in this accomplishment in my life where I have finally achieved cat vinyl goals. Now these look super cute, don't they? I mean, they're pink and everything, but there's a touch of badass with the black hollow, so I'm still okay. I'm still sane. But I feel like they're missing something. Manchi? What do you think, Manchi? <laughs> Obviously, I'm missing Menchi the cat hollow polish. How could I do cat nails and not use that polish? That is just rude. Bet you didn't think it was possible for a cat to have their own nail polish. You can find Menchi the cat's hollow glitter that she designed all by herself at the link below. Please don't hurt me if it's sold out. You can save yourself from some anger by signing up to be notified when it's back in stock, so that way you won't have to kill anybody to get this nail polish. It often goes out of stock because all the hollow sexuals keep buying it, but I expect it to be back in stock soon. Should I even explain what I'm doing or you guys know what's going on right here, right? Yeah, yeah you do. It's just a little fancy glitter gradient. Correction, hollow glitter gradient. And I didn't really know where to add Menchie's hollow on my other nails, so I just kind of put it inside the cat head. <laughs> where to put the hollow? The struggle is real. I can't fit that much hollow inside of the pussycat head. I added a final glossy top coat. I know this is like the third time because I want the hollow glitter to be embalmed in my nails. Okay, that's really morbid. Wait a second, no it's not. I have nine lives anyways. Actually, probably more than that because hollow gives you immortality. I am immortal. Join me on my quest to locate the land of eternal unicorn peace and freedom and we will fight some tiny monsters. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching and if you wanna buy my really cool cat nail vinyls, you can at the link below in the video description box because I'm not just gonna hog them all to myself. You can also use my code SIMPLY for 10% off because no video would be complete without mentioning a discount code. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see y'all later, bye!